Changes are coming to Dungeness crab fishing as the California Department of Fish and Wildlife now has the option to put a halt to that season. It's called the Risk Assessment and Mitigation Program. It's upping restrictions for crab fishermen for the safety of wildlife like humpbacks, blue whales, and Pacific leatherback sea turtles. Let's go now live to our uh, KON's Megan Meyer with more on this report. Hey, Megan. Hey Aaron, yeah, unlike past seasons, fishermen who dock their boats here at the Santa Cruz Harbor are facing a lot of uncertainty and are now hoping that they're still able to make a profit after months of preparing. 19 years. That's how long Tim Ober worked to get to where he is today. We love the ocean. That's why we do this for a job. He's now a captain of a Dungeness Crab fishing boat docked in the Santa Cruz Harbor. His team is just a few weeks away from the start of a season that they say may not even happen. This is a make money fishery, so you have to spend it to make the money. That's how it works. You have to spend money to make money. And when you don't know if you're going to get that money back, you might spend all your savings just getting ready for the opener and then there's no opener. Starting November 1st, the California Department of Fish and Wildlife will be collecting data and aerial surveys of seven fishing zones along the California coast. If 20 whales or sea turtles are spotted in any one zone, Dungeness crab fishing can be called off. Monthly, we do uh, risk assessments, at least monthly, with the director and the working group. The goal is to keep the fishing gear and the whales apart as much as feasible. Marine scientist Ryan Bartling says it's an initiative the department has been working on since 2017. Due to the high number of whale entanglements reported the year before. Back in 2015-16, that's when we saw a higher rate of entanglements. That particular year, there were 15 humpbacks. That sea fishing season, there were 15 humpbacks entangled two blue whales. Obert says he's already invested around $100,000 into the season. For now, it's a waiting game. People are going to lose their houses and their jobs and their lives. They're, I mean, it's it's something we try not to think about because it's a horrible thought. We, we base our lives on these seasons and, and our families base us working them. Yeah, Obert and the rest of the Santa Cruz Dungeness crab fishermen will be waiting to hear whether or not they'll be able to go out on their first trip of the season. That answer to come to them in the next few weeks. Live in Santa Cruz, Megan Meyer, KIO News Channel 546.